Ladies and gentlemen, Salam Mike. Welcome to the video, man. 3SB.co for all your gear you want to cop this crew neck, some shorts. It is live right now. We're hopping in today with the top supplements tier list for fat loss or muscle gain. We're digging it up. Tiermaker.com. Shout out to the boys and let's get started. Number one, we got a mass gainer. Typically, these are just a protein powder with a bunch of carbs, a bunch of fat. Now, this tier list has companies involved, but we're just going to talk about the broad range of the supplement itself. And this one, for your boy, is one of the easiest. Mass gainer goes straight into the F category. Now, a protein supplement is something great. It's something easy. It's convenient. And dollar per gram of protein, normally weight protein is pretty solid. Um, but a mass gainer, they're just thrown in trash that you can fill in with some nutritious food. You can throw in fruits and juices. You can throw in vegetables. You can throw in peanut butter and avocado and different types of oils if you're trying to add more calories, if you have issues eating calories. So to me, a mass gainer in general is one of the biggest wastes of money because you can just put good food to use. Number two, I think we've got a test booster. We got a testosterone booster. Now, unless this is in a syringe with Trend, it ain't gonna do nothing for you. Let's be honest. Um, this is also going into the F tier. Now, there are some small studies showing out um, Tonka Ali and some other more natural supplements that will help you stay within the healthy range of testosterone boosting. Um, but the truth is, there's no testosterone booster that is natural that will keep you in the range that will allow you to build more muscle. All that we look at when we're getting our blood work done and we're looking at testosterone ranges is that our range kind of stays the same in this healthy range through our adulthood um, if you're 25 years old and you're at like 600 then you get to 30 years old or 28 years old and it drops down to 200 you may have some adverse effects but if you're 18 and you're at 200 with no bad signs right your hair is fine your libido is fine your muscle building is fine your energy is fine your mood is fine then there's no benefit to get up to 500 or 600 within that range. Hopefully that makes sense. We got a casein protein. Casein protein, honestly, might be one of the most underrated sources. So if you have everything locked in, I mean absolutely everything locked in, your sleep, your nutrition, your macros, your uh, programming, your effort in the gym, your stress levels in life, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Now we can start to dive into when and why we're eating certain proteins. Um, overall, it's probably too complex to make a difference for the majority of us. Even if you're an IFBB, if you take whey shakes when you're supposed to take casein shakes, the amount of improvement you'll get is probably so minuscule, I'd probably not worry about it. But casein is a great source. Sometimes, it, again, it digests a little slower so it can keep you a little fuller longer. I'm gonna throw it in the B category. Now, if y'all followed along for a long time, if not, if you're new, be sure to subscribe. We put out videos every single day, but I'm not a big fan of supplements. I've been in the industry, creating content, coaching, owning gyms, um, marketing, building products for over a decade, and I've never taken a supplement sponsor. Simply because I love food, and I think the industry is too overflown with products and gimmicks, giving false promises to people's fitness goals. Um, a multivitamin. A multivitamin is probably a solid take if you have extra money, and again, everything in your life's locked in. Something like a multi might be A tier because there's just kind of no negative effect and it may fill in some of the gaps you're not getting from fruit and veggies. We got a fat super, squeeze me, super fat burner. I don't even know what's in this thing, but again, like these other test boosters and things, there's nearly nothing on the planet that you can buy over the shelf that will help you burn fat. All we gotta worry about is our nutrition in and how much energy we're expending. All right, so next we got CLA, or I believe it's conjugated, conjugated linoleic acid. Look, man, I'm a college dropout, but your boy knows a thing or two. I think this was originally got popular because they say it helps metabolize fat cells in the body, which I don't believe is true. Um, I don't think there's any net negatives here. Uh, there's some evidence, or some people think it might help um, immune support. So and again, I'll, I might throw it in like a D category. It's, or it doesn't do what it, people think it does. None of these are gonna burn fat, man. We need to exercise, we need to lift fucking heavy, we need to do some kind of cardio, get our steps in, move, and we need to eat proper amounts of calories, proper amounts of protein. That's how we're gonna get shredded, that's how we're gonna lose weight, that's how we're gonna build the physique that you think you want to have. Everyone's favorite product, the pre-workout. Now, pre-workouts vary. There's a bunch of companies that 
that sell them, that show them to people because it is such a popular product, because it's social media has made it even more popular to dry scoop these things and do it as a group and take shots like you're at a party before you're hitting a very mediocre leg day. Meanwhile, you get three hours of sleep, don't track your macros, um, and you don't have the physique you want because you're at the club every weekend. But besides that, pre-workouts have some positive effects. You know, there's different ones with creatine in it, obviously caffeine, and there's other, other supplements that people put in there. Make sure it's not a proprietary blend um, because a lot of them are underdosed. I'll probably throw it in like a, a B tier as well, kind of like the casein. You definitely don't need it. You know, a, a, getting a, a, a little kick in the pants from an espresso or an energy drink is plenty. Next up, we got the Hydro Whey. Typically, that's a hydrolyzed whey protein, um, but any whey protein is super, super solid. I'll throw it in the B tier as well as these things. It's not necessary you can get all the protein you need from steak and fish and legumes and a bunch of other products other dairies and i prefer to eat um, my protein just because i'm always hungry so i might as well but if you're on the go it's convenient dollar per gram of protein is often solid oh ashwagandha now i do think there's some things on ashwagandha and evidence showing um some other positives but what it's marketed as again um is a testosterone booster and like i said before even if we get to the higher ranges within a natural range unless we have a libido problem or something etc etc there is zero benefit of raising our natural testosterone you will not look like ronnie coleman or sebum sorry to break your heart you won't look like your favorite fitness instagrammer that's not how it works so uh that being said we're going to throw it in the f tier as well there's a lot of companies that hop onto one little ounce of evidence and not every study is created equal and then they'll market it and price up, they'll price gouge the living crap out of these things um, and try to sell you ashwagandha as this new anabolic steroid that's healthy for you. But don't believe the lies. I'm not getting paid by anyone. If you do your research and anyone's pushing all this stuff on you, they probably have a discount code below. They're probably making dollars off you and that's the only reason they're pushing it. A BCAA, branch chain amino acid. I'm gonna throw this one in probably Let's throw it in the C. Um, now, breast chains actually got like a, a reverse polarization where they used to be the stuff. Everyone thought leucine was the secret to anabolic um, behaviors and anabolic growth. Um, leucine is one of the branch chain amino acids and it does help um, protein synthesis. What re more recent studies have showed and evidence has showed is that if you're getting adequate amounts of protein from your food or other sources, the branch chain amino acids um, are they'll then kind of nil and void. Um, so that added branched chain amino acids to the topped off level of protein a day won't do anything. Well, people do the tier of what's more important to you, huh, within the tier. So let's go, we'll go uh, left side to right within the tier. So hydrolyzed whey is the best B, casein is the uh, uh, next best B, and pre-workout is the next best B. And I'm actually gonna uh, uh, rewind. We're gonna take the multi and probably chuck it back in, in the B also. It, it covers ground, but there are some absorption stuff that people don't think it's necessarily doing what you do. And I would, if I'm your coach, I'm gonna to try to encourage you to get, you know, a serving of two of veggies and fruits a day and vary those veggies and fruits weekly. Again, that'll cover our bases. Next is vitamin D3. I saved the best two for last, even though I didn't save them, they were just in order, I've been clicking up. But vitamin D3, we're gonna throw it up in that S tier. Depending where you live, um, vitamin D is one of the very few things that we kind of need from Mother Nature. Shout out to Mother Nature. Uh, we need to get that sun on our skin to get that. In some places, it's just not possible. I live in beautiful Sacramento, California, where Third Street Barbell is located if you're ever in town and want to visit. Uh, but even then, we get some clouds, we get some rain, so I don't see as much sun as I want. Uh, and so I supplement with D3. And last but not least, creatine monohydrate also goes in the S tier. More and more good stuff keeps coming about of creatine and brain health, dementia prevention, as well, obviously, the little endurance ATP recovery we get from training. Creatine will not make you wake up and feel like the Hulk, but if you take creatine consistently, five to 10 grams a day, over time, you will squeak out one or two more reps, one or two more sets, and over months, years, decades of training, you will get and receive benefits. So, our supplement tier list, enjoy. Appreciate you guys. More videos like this coming. Comment below if you guys want me to react. Tear out protein bars or food sources or protein sources, anything going forward. We're rocking with about two vlogs a day, or excuse me, two vlogs a week, and one kind of react, sit down, chat. Uh, we'll call it a uh, random video thrown in the mix. Appreciate you guys for sticking along. 
Um, 3SB.co for all your clothing. We over meet. Be a part of something bigger than yourself, man. Always driven by community and culture. Solomon, I'm out of here. Catch you in the next one.